I'm on the move. Got a pop on like no one else, and I kept my cool. See, we can go to my seat, just me and you. And don't you stress about flaws, baby, we just got embraced. I'm just trying to stress you out, look. I don't want to be that nasty dude. I got to be that classic dude. I don't want to be that nigga go over here and go slap a dude. I don't really want to wreck the mood. I'm just really trying to set the mood. She like, hey, hey. Run around like you the man and you know. Come around, you don't do a thing, you a phony. I told her, bitch, do not play that shit, I'm grown. I told her, bitch, trouble rich for something. I'm trying to show the girls out. So much dresses, so it's so much dresses. Time in with a baby in the pan, bro. Get that on tape. That's what you mean. That's what for the pan. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's a highlight. She's winning too. On this way. <laughs> <laughs> On the move, got a pop on like no one else, and I kept my cool. How do, you, how do you feel now, bro? Like coming down, playing here, raised around here in the block, and now you know the big day coming up in a few days. It's weird, eh? Weird. Yeah, like when you put it like that, it like it spin out, you know. But I mean, I don't want to say like I always saw it happening, but yeah. you know, like, but like, I feel like. But you making choices to do that. You thought about it. You, you, you envision it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm it's a big part it. of it's a big part of making it, bro. Yeah. Like you know. I envisioned it, but now that it, it's like it's, it's happening. Oh, yeah, six, six more days. Yeah. Six, six five, more five more days. Yeah. You're gonna so, have like a bunch of people screaming your name. Like from my experience, when I first played, bro, and I first hopped on the court, and I'm bouncing the ball. And a yeah. bunch of people are screaming my name. Nah, that's weird. Yeah, it's like I was like this. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, like, I was like this. So I think about it. I like, had to pass the ball off, go yeah. to the corner. <sighs> that's so, how I feel. I feel like uh, what were we talking about here? Um, he was telling me one of the other boys in the NBL was saying, um, like, you know, when they get on the court, like when their first games and that, when they're nervous, yeah, they try and shoot the first shot that they get. So then they're like more relaxed now. They're yeah, yeah, nervous, yeah. you know. Get that out the way, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm gonna do, bro. Like, Let's get that like, first shot. Because, <laughs> like, I reckon it's gonna be one of those situations that's like, you might really like, be on the last three minutes of the quarter. Yeah. You get taken out eight minutes to go in the second quarter. So yeah. it's like, you got five minutes, you got to launch when you can. And yeah, if I make well. it, then I'm feeling That's what I mean. That's what I'm feeling good. Minutes. Like, if I make it, that's when I get confident in I'm gonna just launch the, the first the one king, that I see. The way, the way the Kings play, but you guys have free reign to do whatever. Yeah, we have like our coach is good in that sense. Like it lets us play through mistakes. You know, we like we're running, like play quicker. Good. It's my game, you know. So you got it's him. just about me like taking advantage of it and realizing that like it's not college anymore, you know. Like in college I was making one mistake and it's yeah. like I was starting point guard. Yeah. I'd make one mistake and uh sub me wouldn't out. Wouldn't start the next game and shit. <laughs> wouldn't start the next game and like the backup point guard had like more leash than me for some reason. Say his name, say his name. Huh? No, that's my boy. <laughs> I was like, that's my boy. But, um, that's how I gotta realise like like even even with coach now, there's times where like I won't shoot like a layup over a big and take the big on. Mm. And he'll be yelling at me to like shoot the ball and I'm mm. like in college, like, if I shot that, I'd be getting yelled at, you know? So now it's like me adapting to, like, I can go back to, like, the way I kind of play in general. You know? That's right, yeah, I was so going to take advantage of it. But he's a young coach too, so mm. he understands it. So he can so. connect with you guys a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and especially with the younger guys. And, like, not to, like, you know, jock ride him anymore, but he's like a player's coach. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, man. I feel like there hasn't been much coaches, like, that I've been able to like that's just great talk Australia to. In itself. Exactly, that's what I mean. Coaches and that's, are like, ah, bro, that's what I'm right. saying. There's not, there's not, there hasn't been much You're coaches right. where like I can go talk to and feel comfortable and like have a genuine like if I mess up, have like a genuine conversation about it or something, yeah. you know, or like uh -huh. what to do or like whatever. Like those coaches just calm, like just chill. Now I think that shows on the court, like you know, I had an all right, all right preseason. Oh, shit. Let's go back to the throwback. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Homes were ever the West. Homes were ever the brethren. Less of the shoulders I'm messing with. Ay, ay. Young and also the veteran. You gotta earn your rep. You've had our back. Now we got yours.
this. Shit make me like, like proud of you for Sydney type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lately I'm sensitive, I be so negative, I be so reckless. Usually I'm arcing up, I'm the big- Wally Bells, how's it going? Hero Londa, my boy. Man, you're debuting this week. First game for Sydney Kings. Yep. Um, tell me your background in basketball. Um, well, shit, I mean, really, I grew up playing footy and that. Mm. Um, you know, I guess in our area and, you know, my family and that kind of a footy background. Yeah. Uh, that's rugby league to anyone that thinks it's AFL, it's definitely not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I grew up playing footy and then, you know, just started playing basketball uh, for fun, just at Comet Stadium there. Oh, yeah. Uh, just like muck around for the boys. Yeah. And um, How old were you? Like, I think nine, ten. Just when you first started, huh? Yeah, just playing local comp. Oh, local comp, like, right. Um, a couple of my footy mates had just put a team in. Yeah. Like the All Blacks and that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, they put a team in. So then I, they just asked me to come play. Yeah, right. And there was a bunch of us footy boys running around. Yeah, fair enough. So that's how you pretty much started. Yeah, so, now, yeah. speaking about family and all, what what does this mean for your heritage? You know, being being Indigenous yeah. and putting putting Redfin on the map type of thing. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's been on the map from footy, rugby and all that. But now, basketball coming up and... You're the main face in Sydney, one of the main faces. So what does that mean for your heritage, you know? No, I feel like it's big and, you know, um, you know, thankful to have guys like, you know, Paddy Mills, like within basketball. That's it. Um, you know, you know, um, putting, putting our heritage on the map and our culture on the map. Um, so for me, like growing up, looking up to him, yeah. you know, hoping one day I can do the same. And, yeah. and it's kind of surreal that I'm on, like, obviously not on his platform, but uh -huh. I have a, a platform to do that, you know? So, uh -huh. For me, it's just all about you know raising awareness as well, it, stuff man. like that, and just that's it. showing these kids and that that like you know there's other ways to yeah. you know you know there's other ways to go in life and make yeah. money. And yeah. So Bwali, yeah, this is like a lot of kids' dreams, you know. And of course, NBA is the ultimate dream, but coming from your city, Sydney, and you have a jersey being sold, what what does this mean, you know? Having your playing for your hometown and having a jersey being able to be purchased by little kids and all. What, what does it mean to you, bro? Well, I mean, first of all, shout out, you know, Dovac Mike, you know, for, um, you know, giving me the opportunity and, and selling it like in the stores, not just on the NBL website. So that's big time, you know, and that's, that's love. It, that's it. But um, it just means, like, it means a lot for like, you know, obviously like I was a little kid, like buying jerseys and that. And like, yeah, I don't know. There's not, there's not much ways to like put it. It's just like, it's pretty crazy. Like I'm still spinning out. Like when I see I got goosebumps for yeah, you, man. See, you know what I mean? I see people tag me like on Instagram, like buying my jerseys or like sending me photos and that. Yeah. Like, you know, so I feel like it will hit more like once I'm at the game and I see like a lot of like people wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like I can't even describe it. It's just yeah, like, right, man. Look, crazy. your debut games this weekend. So, all right, it's gonna be big once you get once you get there. Once you're on the court, people screaming your name and all. You know what I mean? So what, what do you expect to take from this first first game and this yeah. first season? I of mean, course. hopefully the first game I just kind of get out get out the nerves, you know. That's like, right. Um, I feel like that'll happen within like the first minute or so. But um, hopefully, I don't know what, what to take from it. Just, just try and settle in and just get comfortable, like because it's, it's a long season. Hundred um, percent. So no matter what happens, I'm just I'm just really focused on just trying to be comfortable in the For first real, game. For real, bro. Um, and yeah, you know, do the area proud and that. That's yeah. it, man. Oh, right, man. Appreciate you, man. Sounds good. Fuck it up. Uh, you looking mad. Fuck it up. I said, throw it bad. Fuck it up. Uh, she looking mad. Fuck it up. When do you ask my time? Wanna call the time? I ignore, I ignore. Whoa. Don't you ever hit my line with some drama? Coach Mahesh, grind over everything. Yes, sir. You've been putting a lot of work into Bawali. What do you expect Boali to bring for the Kings? You know, to, what, what, what do you expect him to deliver and you know, add to, to the Kings, also to the whole NBL scene, in a way? That's a good question too. I think from, a, from the Kings standpoint, I think the, you already know that like, energy and defense is going to be, yeah. that's just non-negotiable. He's going to yeah. do that wherever we play pick up, he's playing, wherever he's playing. He's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing, like, 100%. Outdoor, it doesn't matter, like, he's, he's picking up, locking up, he's yeah. play defense. Yeah. And the energy on that side of the floor is unquestioned, so that's something you're going to get with him. From an NBL standpoint, I think the NBL's started to go young now. 
you know, they've got to they go are, young talent. They start getting young. Yeah. And some of these young guys have a good following and they got fans and they, yeah. they're trying to, it's good for the culture, like yeah. the basketball culture. So I think from an NBL standpoint, like he'll, he'll sell some tickets. So like people want to come yeah. see him. Yeah, 100%. Like 100%. So people want to see that as well. Um, but from him standpoint, I think his, his success will be dictated by his opportunity. I don't think he's ever fallen short if he gets given an opportunity, he's never really come up short. Man, I've seen that too. You know what I mean? Definitely like with Bali, yeah, definitely. It's always, it's always about that. Like some guys get given opportunity after opportunity and they they miss the mark. Mm -hmm. and he's never fallen short. That, yeah, he's never kind of missed the mark yeah. when he gets a chance. So I think for him as a rookie, if he gets a chance, people are going to be, uh, yeah. they're going to be surprised, but we're not. We do the work every 100%. day with him. And, and you know, I think he's, sure, he's going to turn some heads. So, 100%. Thank you, man. No, appreciate it. Thank you for all that. Yeah, for sure. Got you. How you doing, man? My name's my name's Bawali. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Jacob, bro. Here he is. What up, gang? What's happening? Crazy. I heard you're a problem on the court, eh? I give him some it. advice, man. You know, I was just telling me you a problem, bro, and just keep doing what you're doing. We noticing, we seeing it. Um, and yeah, after one v one, you someday or what? See what happens. Ah, right, bro. Ah, right, well, we gotta go. We gotta go, but I'll hit you. Yeah. Ah, right, bro. We in Sid City, baby. That's sick. Let's cross. Uh, we're here wrapping it up we with uh, Binui, Wali's mother. I'm um, just asking a few questions. So, Bawali growing up playing basketball, when did you, when did you see or kind of have a feel that like he's going to go pro, he's going to go far with this? Straight away. Straight. Straight away. With anything, um, whether it was football, basketball, yeah. um, athletics, track and field, you name it, he was good at it. So for me as a mum growing up, I tried to expose him to as many sports as possible. Yeah. Yeah. We actually started out with soccer and he was awesome at that. So we just kept going Oz tag, football, uh, basketball. And then I asked him to go for the reps for the Comets. Yeah. He was around back in those yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sister Coach, man. Yeah, yeah, you were around, you and Rich. Yeah. Um, because I was a basketball player mm -hmm. and my dad raised nine girls all yeah. playing basketball. Yeah, right. My mum played basketball. And so it was kind of like, I reckon you'd be really good at it. Mm. And they make a lot of money. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so I said, son, I said, son, you know, there's a lot of injuries in, in, in football and all this other stuff. Rugby yeah. Union, he was even playing Rugby yeah. Union at one point. Yeah. Um, gave it a go, went for the Comets, made it. Yeah. And I just went, you know what, this guy's just got a lot of energy. Yeah. He does oh. not quit. And that was mm. the one thing. Mm -hmm. If you've got energy, that's one thing money can't buy. That's something that just comes naturally. Right. So, right. I knew straight away. You knew straight away, straight away. Right? Kept him at it, huh? Straight away. Nice, just one last thing is, I just want you to you know, tell us or tell him how proud of him are you. Don't make me cry. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we no, go. no, I'll, I'll keep it together. Uh, um, I think like there's no words that could describe it as a young mum. And I don't mean to keep saying that, but I lost my mum while I was pregnant with him. So, 15, high school, having a baby mum passes away so uh, you know the person that's supposed to help me raise the child and yeah. understand what mm -hmm. being a mum and being a woman is all about mm -hmm. I lost mm -hmm. so I did it on my own and to know that my son has put in so much hard work because we've been through life together he's experienced he's mature he's intelligent and for me that's he's respectful even though he's cheeky that's all a mother can want in this world so I'm beyond proud, um, 
I, I don't think there's a word to describe the feeling that yes, I get of when I look at him. Oh, for, oh, geez. No, just for like, graduating high school, for playing yeah. basketball and for making it. They were two dreams that I wanted for me. Yeah. I well, wanted to play ball and, yeah. and be in the WNBL and WNBA. Yeah, definitely. I wanted to do that. Yeah. But I felt pregnant yeah. at 16. Well, you know, God gave you the blessings through him. 100%. You know I mean? and yeah. You know, I have my mum and dad both up there watching down on us and I think the pride extends from me up into the yeah. dream time, up into where my mum and dad and my grandmas because I, we feel, you know, even my, my uncle who helped me raise him was at most of the games, yeah, there was yeah. an older man yeah. who helped me raise him. Yeah. Um, my mum's brother, he was a big part of, you know, reading to him every day, getting him to school on time, picking him up. Yeah. Going to sports, you know, the community helped me like raise. A father figure type of thing as well. Yeah, yeah pop like a grandfather. Yeah, so yeah, the the the, the 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 word pride is just too small for the amount of feelings that it brings for me and my people and Definitely. the people that helped raise him. And, yeah. What are you gonna say back to that? I mean, yeah, like I'm well, saying, that's what I'm saying. Like when they, when you ask me like about family, like you know, that's just a little insight as to like why that's. Well, why that stuff's so important to me, yeah. you know, like, you know, my nan who I never got to meet, you know, yeah. like, died before I was born. Yeah. My pop who was like, you know, one of one of my f main father figures in my life, like, right. you know, I didn't have a dad growing up, obviously. Had my mum playing both roles, yeah. but, you know, my pop, you know, died when I was 14, like, yeah. you know, you see, like, one of your main father figures, yeah. the glue, you know, the glue to the family, the you know, the all right, so that, I mean, that for me is just like, like I said, it's inspiration, it's motivating. Yeah. You know, I know, yeah, like, this is, yeah. yeah so. So. Well, look, man, you're about to play this weekend, like I said, and I'm telling you now, from everyone that I've spoken to, you've got the, you've got the whole of Sydney behind you, bro. 100. Mm -hmm. You've got the whole of Sydney behind but. you, and we hope you go the positive way, you know what I mean? So, and stay same. on track we'll see what happens. <laughs> and most important, you've got your biggest support right here. So. All right, your biggest support right there. And um, I think, yeah, that's enough for, for today. And we just all wish you good luck, man. Wish, wish you good luck. Wish you your guys. whole career good luck, bro. My all guy right? right here, my guy, my guy. Right, man. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh give me the hugs Thank out. Thank you. I'm on the move. Got a pop on like no one else, and I kept my cool. See, we can go to Kumasi, just me and you. And don't you stress about flaws, baby, just got embracing. I'm just trying to stress you out, look. I don't want to be that nasty dude. I got to be that classic dude. I don't want to be the nigga go ahead and go slap a dude. I don't really want to wreck the mood. I'm just really trying to set the mood. She like, hey, hey. Run around like you the man and you know. Come around, you don't do a thing, you a phony. I told her, bitch, do not play that shit, I'm grown. I told that bitch I'm rich as fuck. Wanna shine and sew the girls out. So my dress is so it's all out. And you impressive, got my thoughts wide.